Hello everyone, Darianne Hubbard from Century 21 and Okanagan Valley Living. It's time for our stats review. Things are really starting to shift, so stay with me. Let's switch over to the stats machine. I want to keep this quick. I just made the first video. It was over 12 minutes long, way too long. So I'm going to uh, move quickly through this. A couple of things. The market is definitely changing. It is shifting. We are definitely in a strong softening and possibly moving towards a correction. I want to just take a second into the central. That's the Kelowna area. The absorption rate. If you're new here, the absorption rate is the ratio between the number of houses on the market that month and how many sell. So if there's 100 houses on the market and 12 sold, the absorption rate is 12%. A balanced market is 12 to 20% absorption rate. In March of last year, we saw an absorption rate of 99.76%, almost impossible. That's virtually every house that came on the market sold that month. Crazy, crazy. Remember, balance market is 12 to 20%. It has progressively been coming down. Look at this figure. We are actually below the balance market. So we, in this case, now one month does not make a market. We'll see what September, October, November brings. But um, we are moving out of a seller's market into a buyer's market. Remember, it's all about supply and demand. We had a lot of demand, many, many buyers, and very few listings. That made for a strong seller's market. It is shifting. Buyers are decreasing as some are kicked out because of the interest rates. Some are just putting things on hold. They want to see what's going to happen. And the listings are increasing because if this market is going to soften and you have to sell your house, they want to get it on the market now. So let's switch over to the north, which is Vernon. So again, our high spot, come on, don't do that. Our high spot was last April as well at 90%, and we are now down to 26. So we're still a seller's market, but we are definitely moving towards a balanced market. Our current inventory is growing. It went from 169 to 227, 265, 304, we're at 330. So a lot of, I've had a few people contact me to say, what's going on? My neighborhood, my immediate neighborhood, five new places have gone up for sale. As people hear about the market changing and you want to sell your house, they are jumping on that bandwagon before this market declines. Be aware that prices are the last stat to change. Why is that? Because sellers will not come on board with the shifting market. They hold on to pricing that was applicable six months ago, is no longer applicable. They've added a new column to the stats machine, which is the year-to-date average median price. So at the year-to-date one for 2021 was 636,903, 523 at the end of 2020, a difference of 21.64%. So it's going to be very interesting to see what that change is at the end of this year. But we are definitely into a correcting market. So if you're thinking of selling, now remember, there are a bunch of people that would like to sell, but don't have to sell. They are probably waiting. They're waiting um, to see what's going to happen. Then there are people that have to sell and they are getting on the, the bandwagon right now, listing their house. If this market's going down, I want to catch it at the highest point I possibly can. So if you're thinking of selling and you want to sell in the next six months, I would list your house, right? Actually, I would list your house towards the end of August. July and August tend to be slow months. You see a lot of moving trucks, a lot of people taking possession. They did their deals in April, May, and June so that the kids could finish in one school, move into the new house, start the new school in September. So lots of activity, but not a lot of new deals going on. Everyone's on holidays out in campers and they're not, if you don't have to buy or sell, a lot of people put it on hold. You will see an upswing in September as people get back to school and routine and say, I wanna be in a new house by Christmas. So you'll see listings come on, activity happen. But in my opinion, and I'm one of these I'm gonna say is in my best interest and one is not. If you are a seller, get your house on the market. If you want it sold in the next six to eight months, 
list it now. I would list it by the end of August and hit that increase activity in September. That's in my best interest, of course, um, as a real estate agent. But the other one that is not, if you are a buyer with no urgent need to buy, I would not buy right now. I would wait and see what the next six to 12 months is going to bring. Because if this trend continues, we are going to move out of a softening into a correction and prices are slowly going to inch down. Remember, prices are the last stat to change and they, it moves slower, much slower than other stats. But it's, I believe there's a trend downward. So if I was thinking of buying but didn't have a compelling reason to buy right now, I would wait. See what September, October brings, November, December. The very best month to buy a house is December. The second one is January. Everybody kind of thinks nobody's going to be looking at houses. If they get an offer, they're much more likely to negotiate. Great Christmas gift knowing we got our house sold. So December and January are the best months to buy. But even then, I'd be careful. If this is a downward trend, I would be watching and waiting and seeing how low it's going to go. But if you're a seller, I'd get your house on the market as soon as the end of August hits and hit that September um, increased activity. Okay, I hope your summer went well. You still got a, two or three more weeks left to go. And then we hit, <clears throat> pardon me, back to school. So take care. And if you have any questions, you want any real estate questions answered, give me a call. I'd love to chat with you. Bye for now.